There were solidarity marches in Italy, Lebanon, the UK, and right here in Canada as well. In Toronto, hundreds of Canadians attended this rally outside City Hall. Along with events in Halifax, Montreal and Vancouver, Canadians are sending a message of support to the people of France. In Germany today, arsonists attacked a newspaper that had published some of the cartoons contained in Charlie Hebdo. It happened in the city of Hamburg. The newspaper, the Hamburg Morgan Post, said several files in its archives were destroyed. Two people were arrested. There were no injuries. World leaders realize they need to come up with a global approach to neutralize Islamic extremism. That includes better sharing of intelligence and more outreach programs. As Vashi Capellos reports, the international community is vowing to work together to fill some of those gaps. Side by side, arm in arm, the world's most powerful leaders lined up at the Unity Rally in Paris, pledging a united fight against terrorism. Leaders not only marched, but met, agreeing to boost international cooperation in light of the latest terrorist attack. That's why this meeting is so important at this point in time, uh, uh, because we need to share information with our allies. But critics say information sharing among countries isn't where it should be, pointing to the brothers at the center of the Paris attack. The Kouachis were on the U.S. no-fly list and tracked by French intelligence. We are not cohesive in understanding and attacking uh, this phenomenon. Scott Neal spent 25 years in the U.S. Special Forces. He says countries agreed to share more intelligence on terrorist activities after 9-11, but the commitment waned. Nobody's really kind of, you know, kept these together and driven these to match what our adversaries are doing now. Part of the problem is the new wave of terrorism, like what happened here at home in October. Disaffected young people radicalized online, attacking soft targets that are hard to defend. That is the thing that I think keeps me up uh, most at night, this concern about the, the lone wolf who goes undetected. In Canada, officials admit resources are limited and it's impossible to monitor each of the 90 radicals on the RCMP's watch list 24 hours a day. In France, there are thousands on the same kind of list. It also is a tactical analysis challenge for all the security services to try to figure out on any given day who they should pick to surveil. World leaders will once again put their heads together to try and figure out a solution. The White House is set to host a global security summit next month. Vashi Capellos, Global News, Ottawa.